WBKO News at 10. Good evening, everyone. I'm Kelly Austin. Thank you for joining us. Preparations for a roadwork project over a decade in the making are finally starting to happen in Horse Cave. WBKO Sarah Phipps took a trip to the city and is in studio to tell us more about the new road developments. Sarah. Thank you, Kelly. Crews have been working to move sewer systems and utility poles in preparation for the Horse Cave Connector Project, a new bypass for Horse Cave. The bypass will be two lanes beginning near West Main Street and ending near the Tri-County Auto and Oil Fuel location on US 31W. So it covers the southwestern quadrant of Horse Cave. Uh, again, it's a flyover that goes over uh, the railroad tracks in Kentucky 335, right beside the railroad tracks. The connector will work to help semi trucks circumnavigate the tight corners of downtown Horse Cave, while also giving them a direct route to the city's major industrial zone. Getting that truck traffic out of downtown is going to be good for trucks not having to stay over the railroad track while they're sitting at this light down here. That's a that's an obvious uh, danger, but also they have to swing real wide to get around. Uh, cars have to sometimes kind of maneuver around. It's just not a good fit. The chosen path was announced in 2018 after deliberation among the community about which path would be the most effective regarding cost and distance while also causing the fewest relocations. What we ended up with was kind of a, uh, a best case scenario of budget uh, impacts to, to real estate. Uh, you know, we wanted to minimize those things, obviously, uh, build it as cost efficiently as possible as well. Uh, so this was just a, a really, a, a, you know, a combination of those factors that, that fit the best case. The project is currently estimated to cost nearly $10 million, with the current highway plan allocating $6.24 million for the project and the $2.1 million for right-of-way and $1.5 million for utilities that were included in the 2020 highway plan. Though District 4 coordinator with the Kentucky Transportation Cabinet, Chris Jesse, says nothing is certain until a construction bid is made. Once we get construction underway, it's going to be a two-year process. Of course, that will depend upon the bid, the contractor, how aggressive they want to be with the work. Uh, but we're anticipating it will be a two-year build uh, from beginning to end. So, uh, you know, best case scenario, we're still looking at a couple years out before folks could drive on it. The bidding process will begin sometime this year. Reporting in studio, Sarah Phipps, WBKO News.